I know it looks nice and sunny. Because it is. But it has been rainy all day, and I have had trouble fitting in my workout. The kids have school, and oh, so much to do. The kids have class tonight at karate, and I usually try to get a workout in while they're at class. So I'm going to do that again tonight. I'm going to run on the treadmill and take you through my ab workout for the day. Keep in mind that this is part of my 30-day ab challenge. I'm Sarah Marie with Sarah Marie Fitness. And I am doing an ab challenge for women. Today is day 23, and I have three exercises for you that we're gonna do, two of which we haven't done yet. And you're going to need a five pound or a 10 pound weight, depending on your fitness level, and a mat. And that's it. For today's workout, you're going to need your weight because we're going to be doing weighted crunches. You're going to be doing mountain climbers with a twist to work our core and our obliques at the same time. We're also going to be doing reverse crunches, but we're not going to do them like I've done them in the past. We're going to do them with our legs straight. So it's almost going to be like leg lifts and it's just hard to explain, so you'll have to watch the video to find out how to do it, but I promise it's going to work your lower abs. We're going to start out in plank position with your hands directly underneath your shoulders and your legs straight out behind you with your back straight. You're going to twist as you pull your knee in to the opposite elbow, turning yourself and holding yourself up. Try not to let your butt sag or up in the air. Try to keep as straight as you can as you turn. You don't have to turn out crazy far. Just get your knee to your elbow. We're gonna do this 15 times on each side for 30 total. For this next exercise, we're going to lay with our feet out in front of us and we're going to lift up and go all the way up in a reverse crunch with our legs straight. Um, so you're doing a leg lift and a reverse crunch. But if this is too difficult, you can modify and do just the reverse crunch part without the leg lift. Just take your feet, keep your legs as straight as you can and curl up using your lower abs to pull your feet up and above your head. We're gonna do 15 of these so that we work our lower abs. And remember, we're doing three sets of everything. So we're gonna go through this once, each exercise, and then we'll do a third, we'll do a second set, and then a third set. For this next exercise, you're gonna be needing a five pound weight, but I couldn't find a five pound weight. I found a six pound weight. And you're going to lie down on your back to do crunches and you're going to put your knees up and bent put the weight behind your neck you don't want to pull on your neck but you can kind of rest your head on it a little bit try to keep your shoulder blades up off of the floor and keep your pelvis tilted so that your hips are turned in slightly and we're going to do 15 weighted crunches you should really feel this going down the middle section of your abdominals because I definitely did. Once you get your 15 in, I want you to flip it back over, your second set in, and go on ahead and do a third set. Mm -hmm. 